Top 10 Hard to Find Immigration Documents In this video, we'll explain the 10 most common documents you need when applying for a marriage green card and what to do if you can't get them. Most of these documents are also required for a family-based green card. Birth Certificate Every applicant and their sponsor must submit a photocopy of each of their birth certificates to the U.S. government. It must contain certain information, such as your full name, the names of both your parents, and your place of birth. Marriage Certificate You must submit a certified copy of your marriage certificate to the U.S. government to prove your marriage is valid. Financial Documents Every sponsoring spouse, the U.S. citizen or green card holder, must meet specific income requirements for their household. The government wants to make sure that the sponsoring spouse will be able to financially support the foreign-born spouse in the U.S. Evidence of U.S. citizenship or permanent residence All sponsoring relatives must provide proof of their U.S. citizenship or current green card holder status when applying for a family-based or marriage-based green card. Acceptable evidence includes a birth certificate, naturalization certificate, or valid U.S. passport. You can submit a photocopy with your application, but you will need to bring the original or certified copy to your green card interview. Evidence of lawful U.S. entry and status If you're a spouse applying for a green card from within the United States, you'll need to prove that you entered the U.S. lawfully and maintained lawful status while awaiting for your case to be approved. You can prove lawful entry and status with an I-94 travel record, as well as copies of the admission stamp and visa in your passport. Police Clearance Certificate If you're a spouse seeking a green card from abroad, you must submit a police clearance certificate from each country in which you've lived since you were 16. Police clearance certificates are different from police records. Divorce Papers If either spouse has ever been married before, they must include evidence that they are legally divorced. Different documents are required for marriages that ended because of a previous spouse's death or by annulment. Court, police, and prison records. If you're the spouse seeking a green card, you must include records of any previous encounters with law enforcement. Military records. Spouses seeking a green card from abroad must submit copies of their military records if they've ever served in the military of any country, including the U.S. You will need to include additional documents if you've been discharged, have retired, have resigned, or have violations on your record. Deportation Documents If you're a spouse seeking a green card and you've ever been deported from the U.S., you must submit your deportation record with your application. This might make the green card application process more difficult. You can obtain your deportation documents from the immigration court where your case was heard. You can also request the release of your immigration record under the Freedom of Information Act. The State Department provides a complete list of documents and procedures specific to each country. If you can't obtain a certain document, you must submit a notarized personal affidavit, i.e. a written statement, explaining why that particular document isn't available. If you're applying from within the U.S., you must submit one of the following. Secondary evidence or notarized personal affidavits from other people. If you're applying from abroad, you should check your country's guidelines to find out if this requirement applies. Secondary evidence. You can choose strong alternative evidence to prevent delays in your application. For instance, you can use church records, such as a baptism certificate, to substitute for a birth certificate. Affidavits from other people. If you can't obtain secondary evidence, you must provide at least two additional written statements from other people who knew about the given event, such as your birth or marriage. The letter doesn't need to be notarized, but it should include a copy of a valid ID. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Boundless on YouTube. Thanks for watching.